1990, Lieutenant Colonel Ed Yielding, the pilot, and Lieutenant Colonel J.T. Vida, radar systems officer, flew from Edwards Air Force Base in California to Dulles International Airport, Washington, D.C., in an SR-71 Blackbird. 2,404 statute miles at the mind-boggling average speed of 2,112.5 miles per hour, coast to coast, in one hour and eight minutes. It was the Blackbird's last military flight, ending a distinguished career for Lockheed's exotic design that began with the first flight on December 22, 1964. The Blackbird was our number one high-altitude, high-speed reconnaissance spy plane, the best in the world, and it flew all over the world. Its record is impressive. It is the only combat airplane in the history of the Air Force to retire without the loss of a single crew member, and one of the few that was never shot down. One flight from San Diego, California to Savannah, Georgia was made in 59 minutes. It was the first to use composite structures capable of withstanding temperatures above 800 degrees Fahrenheit. Average skin temperature of a Blackbird in flight is 550 degrees. SR-71 crews flew almost 65 million miles, half of those at speeds exceeding Mach 3. Blackbird crews are a very select group. Only 385 people have flown in the airplane at speeds above Mach 3. A total of 3,550 operational sorties were flown during the SR-71's illustrious Air Force career, which began in 1966. Now the Blackbird's military tour of duty is over. Nine of the aircraft have been donated to museums, including this one, which will be displayed at the National Air and Space Museum in Washington, D.C. One final note, it's not quite over for the SR-71. Three Blackbirds have been loaned to NASA and will fly on as high-speed research airplanes. It's not quite bye-bye Blackbird.